We're still in the first portion of our public hearing. There's another member. Uh, I'm sorry, the second portion of our public hearing. There's another member of the public that wishes to address us. It is public comment, yeah. Second portion of our public comment period. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you, Mr. Rogers. I just wanted to just say public, second portion of our public hearing. But it's just public comment. It is public um, comment. I'm sorry that I missed the public hearing earlier this evening. I was also stuck in traffic, so that's a common problem I think we all had. Um, the folks in the back room also were here, hoping to be here for the public hearing. Um, a corridor improvement authority. I'm opposed to the establishment of the Corridor Improvement Authority on State Road. At least at this point, you've not yet gotten to the point of establishing the TIF, the Tax Increment Finance. I'm very much opposed to the Tax Increment Finance District that will, for a long period of time, divert funds away from our general fund. We were told not too long ago that we needed to double our public safety millage because property tax values were going to remain stagnant in the township for the next de decade was the prognostication. Now, at the working session on this corridor improvement authority, I was the only person that attended. The working session was not very clearly identified as discussing the corridor improvement authority, it just said state road improvements. It was explained there that we had to rush and hurry up and establish this corridor improvement authority because now is the time. The property values are at their lowest and they're going to leap up going forward. The Corridor Improvement Authority Act was established in 2005 in order to protect areas that are falling into deterioration. This area is now falling into deterioration on State Road. It's actually uh, had a, a certain level of development that's been moderate, and we've been able to absorb it. Developers that have gone in have paid their way. I was very disappointed to see the Walmart project included in the proposed corridor improvement authority. They put in over $5 million into road improvements. Federal Express put in a tremendous amount of money into road improvements. Mr. Grammatico also paid toward the intersection improvement. I would hate to see the township, instead of requiring developers to pay for their own improvements to support their own developments, instead we divert funds from the general fund in order to fund improvements which really are for developers. So it's, it, it was, uh, I think Mr. Israel had said that it would attract more development to the corridor. I think we're comfortable with the rate of development in the corridor. So I am opposed to that. I'm glad to see we're not yet to the TIF. I'll have to speak again when that time comes. I do also want to support Mr. Constant and the others that live in the Old Falls subdivision and the other subdivisions. I doubt anyone had any idea that you were lifting the deed restriction on this property. I don't know what kind of outreach that you did, but in the resolution it said the deed restriction was placed for the benefit of the township. I'd like to clarify that. I believe the deed restriction was placed for the benefit of the township residents in this area. So it's not, while this board certainly does have control of that, we would expect you to consult with all of the residents in the area and think long and hard before lifting a deed restriction, which was very difficult to put in place. I believe it was in 1989, it was long before I was in office, that I think it's a long-standing deed restriction that all of the folks that have moved in that area have recognized Oak Valley as the delimiter from the commercial to the residential. And now instead they're going to see what could be heavy uh, commercial development on that corner. It's not, of course, yet a rezoning, but obviously Mr. Benz purchased the property with the deed restriction in place and then objected from that point forward, hoping to develop it commercially. So he had purchased it with the restriction in place, and as often as the case, then fought back vigorously. So um, I see that he's finally you know, gotten to the point where he's, he will be getting, I assume, what he wants, and, and undoubtedly has buyers already lined up. So I would expect that while this is not the rezoning and, you, and the neighbors will get notification for the rezoning, at this point, there will be nothing to stop that rezoning. It's in your master plan, and it will, I assume, be approved. <coughs> they'll have a public hearing, but I doubt that there'll be much that can be done about it at that point. 30 seconds. Thank you. I'm done. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, we will move on to board response to public comment. I'm not sure if there's a member of the board that wishes to address. I would like to kick it off uh, by 
making a couple of comments. First of all, to our residents that showed up from Heritage Falls. First of all, thank you so much for coming. Um, I know that you are concerned about this. I have not heard from you directly myself, but I believe you met with Mr. Montagno a couple of weeks ago to express some concerns with regard to what um, the master plan and now the new um, zoning will uh, sort of do to the existing residential neighborhoods in that vicinity. And uh, following that conversation, I believe that Mr. Montagno brought to my attention a couple of weeks ago, he and I and the rest of the staff have sort of talked about um, organizing and putting together what we call, are calling at this time, a mini charrette um, for the neighborhood over that node over there. Um, well, what we did tonight, of course, is not a rezone, it's lifting and deed restriction. So it's making the property sort of uh, adhere to and be in compliance with what is allowed both in the master plan and as well in our zoning ordinance. Um, the timing uh, of that mini at this time has not been determined. Like I said, I've been in discussions with him because he did bring to my attention uh, the conversations that you had with him. and. Um, uh, we will be definitely in touch with you to talk about what uh, sorts of concerns you have and whatever we sort of do moving forward is going to and is done here in the township in partnership with you and the rest of the neighbors, whether they're residential or commercial. We're going to talk to folks that are there already. The goal um, for the township is not to disrupt what we have, but to improve what we have. And the way we do that, of course, is in partnership with each one of you, it's not going to be sustainable and it's not going to be successful if we don't talk to you and we don't listen to you. I do apologize that we did not send you a specific mailing with regard to the lifting of the deed restriction. We indeed did not do that and I express my apologies to you for not doing that, but I do know that we are in, uh, in uh, the planning stages for putting that mini charrette together. It's a design workshop sort of thing, so we'll be sort of talking about what sorts of potential developments uh, and types of things we may want to put into this node, and, uh, including the parcel that's uh, in question here today. So please look for that, and we look uh, to have you participate in that and continue the dialogue. So thank you so much for coming today, though. I appreciate it, and I um, appreciate you bringing that to the attention of the board. And uh, to the gentleman from Unit Marco who mentioned uh, the, his potential concerns with regard to the specific design of the project and disrupting um, maybe the businesses that are coming in. As first of all, it's very good to hear that you do have plans to expand. It's always good news from our perspective. So um, we, what we're trying to do here, do here with the CIA is, of course, to build upon that and to allow more of our companies along the Straight Street Corridor to bring in more businesses, be they semis or whatever. Um, and to the point that Mr. Carla had made during the CIA presentation of public hearing, this is a very long-term project, it's a 20-year project, so um, you and I are likely not going to be around by the time the project comes down to your part of the street, um, but regardless, uh, you know, I'm sure by the time we do get there, the design is going to be uh, sort of flushed out and determined and finalized at that very later stage. Um, right now, we're just sort of very preliminary. Somebody at some point has to get the ball rolling, um, and that's what this board is trying to do. All right, um, additional responses from the board this time? I, I'd also like to address the, the corridor improvement. The, the, uh, I'm a lifelong resident of Washington County, and how you see State Street today is how State Street has been forever. And 25 years ago, there were only 8,000 residents in this community and no businesses along State Street. Today, the township has 35,000 residents, and that is a commuter corridor, both to uh, residents to and from Ann Arbor, to and from I-94. And so it's uh, long overdue that we've looked at that corridor for a number of reasons. And when businesses look at, at locating uh, in the community, one of the things they look at is quality of life. And, and one of the largest quality of life issues is commute time and access to the properties. And while I know uh, there are some people who like to see the status quo, uh, that corridor will not continue to grow uh, as long as we turn a blind eye to the need of the improvement of that road in the district along State Street. And I think that the plan that we have in place is a well thought out plan and hopefully it could move faster. Sometimes that happens. I've been involved in TIFs before where the anticipation was a 10 or 15 year build out and it, a 
occurred faster. You never know. It just depends on what the economy is doing. But I, I think this board support of that project needs to go forward, and we need to make an improvement there, uh, both for our businesses there and our residents that are commuting back and forth. 